Hi, in this video, I wanna show you how you can use Zuplo to add Jot authentication using a Superbase JWT to add Jot authentication to your API. I'm sure you've heard of Superbase. It's a great alternative to Firebase. It's open source. It's a great way to build your backend. Um, but it also includes an authentication stack that can rival Auth0, Fusion Auth, and other companies like this. And it includes 50,000 users for free. So it's a really good option. But what if you wanted to add um, authentication to another API that's not, you know, not a, a Superbase backend or a Superbase database, but it's an existing API that you have and you want to use Superbase Jot authentication tokens. In this video, I'm going to show you how quickly you can do that by adding a Zuplo gateway in front of your existing API. The way we're going to do this is we're going to create a new Zuplo instance right now. I'm going to kick that off and get the project created. And we're actually going to put the gateway in front of a demo API. So you can imagine this is your real API. For this demonstration API, oh, by the way, you can see our gateway is already ready here. Um, uh, for this demonstration API, I'm going to use JSON placeholders to do API. It's a real simple API, gives me a list of to do's, allows me to create them. So that's what we're going to use for demo purposes. So let's go back to Zuplo. Um, if I click on routes, you'll see we have no route. So what I'm going to do is add my first route here to the gateway. I'm going to put this on a path of to do's. We're going to call this get all to do's. And we're not going to use versioning, but we will enable cores because maybe you have a web client in React. And then I'm just going to paste in that back end URL here um, for the to do's endpoint. If I click save, that will be ready in a matter of seconds. And my gateway is now ready to proxy traffic. Um, uh, from that original to-dos API through the gateway. So let's take a look. If I click here, you'll see it opens up and I can see the data now flowing through the gateway. What we're gonna do now is add some protection. We're gonna add um, Jot authentication with the Superbase policy. So I expand the policy section. I click add policy here. I'm gonna search for Superbase, click Superbase. And here's the configuration. We're not gonna do the required claim stuff just yet. We'll come back and add that in a minute. But what I wanna to point to you here is that the secret is using an environment variable called Superbase Jot Secret. We're not allowing unauthenticated requests. So I click OK, I save that, and my API will now be protected. So to show you that, you can see I'm getting unauthorized. I can't get into, um, into that API. By the way, the API I'm using here is public which is not very realistic. Um, of course, in Zuplo, we have lots of options for how you connect to a secured backend API. You can find that in our documentation. For this case, I'm just using a public API because it's easier for demo purposes and you can try it too. Um, so we've added Superbase Jot authentication. Um, it's secured now, so I get unauthenticated. So what I need to do now is go and get a, um, uh, a Jot token to use. But just before I do that, I'm actually gonna configure that environment variable I mentioned. So if you remember in here, it said we need a Superbase Jot secret. Okay, so let's go to settings, environment variables. We're gonna add a new environment variable, Superbase Jot secret. Since it's a secret, I'm gonna turn on is secret. That will hide it from you. I'm gonna show you this key, but then I'm gonna regenerate it once the video is done. Um, and if you come into your Superbase settings and then API, you'll see that your Jot settings are down here and here's your Jot secret. So I'm gonna reveal that and copy it. Um, and then I'm gonna paste that in here, click save. And so now my policy is fully configured. It has the environment variable it needs with the secret and it has the policy. So what I need now is a Jot token. Um, I've actually created a React app here ahead of time. Um, and I'm just gonna type in my uh, email. I'm using the magic link option from uh, Superbase. That's gonna send me a link to my email address. Tends to be pretty quick actually. Yep, here it is. So if I click log in. This should open. And so I'm signed in now. So I'm just gonna use the developer tools here and do a refresh. Uh, and I'm gonna grab the access token from the session. So here is my Jot token. Now let's take a quick look at this in Jot.io. So if we look, it has this app metadata section. This is where custom claims and additional information coming from the back end of Superbase can be added. And that means it's secure because it's not controlled by the client. There is a user metadata as well, but that's for profile. Um, and that can be set by the client, so you can't trust that. But here we have this special claim that we're gonna use in a little while called user type, which is a super user. But for now, we just want any old 
super base genuine signed jot token signed with the secret that we just take out of my super base to be what confirms against the api so to test it out let's just save our changes there and then what i'm going to do is add a little test client you can use postman for this or curl or whatever you like but i'm going to use our built-in test client create a new test called get to do's and i'm going to do get to do's and if i hit this now you'll see i got a 401 unauthorized but if I add an authorization header and put in a borrower token, boom, I got a 200. So now we're using that JOT token to access the API. Pretty quick, pretty impressive. Um, what I want to do now is add a layer of authorization where we actually check the claim. So if you remember in the token, I have a claim user type is super user. So just to show this in action, I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to require a different role. So I'm going to go in here configure my policy and I'm going to say um, required claims. It's an object user type is let's say admin. Notice if we go back to my jot token, I do not have a user type of admin, just a super user. So I expect when I save this now, if I hit the API with that token, I'm going to be declined and let's see what happens. And you see I got a 401 invalid JOT token, missing valid claims user type. So it's working. Authorization is working as well. Let's just fix that up and just show that it's actually fine if I do super user, because I do have that claim. Click OK, hit save, and try again. And we are off to the races, 200, so I'm good. Um, the very last thing I want to show you is let's just add some protection to my API using rate limiting. So what I'm going to do now is add another policy called rate limiting. I'm going to rate limit by user. So that means each user gets their own bucket, but we do do dynamic rate limiting. That means you can give different users different rate limits, which is very powerful. And I'm going to be very strict here since I'm giving a demo and say just one request per minute for every user. I hit save. If I go over here and start invoking this, you'll see instantly I get 429, too many requests. So that's how easy it is to add Superbase Jot authentication to any API using Zuplo. We also did authorization and we added rate limiting all in under 10 minutes. Not bad.